2-2 from Batista, hitting the air to shallow center. It's sinking, that might get down, it will! A Texas leaguer between the center fielder and the shortstop, Miami ties it. As Chester comes around from third to score, it was placed perfectly off the end of the bat, and it's 1-1 in the third. It was on first and third for Miami, with one out. It was an infield single for Hayward. Here's the pitch. Hit on the ground, hard towards short. The throw to second in time, on to first. Not in time! Jacob Hayward beats out the fielder's choice. Brandon Lopez comes in to score. It's two to one Miami. Oh man, was Hayward hauling out of the box. Hit that one hard, right to the shortstop, Leitner, who had a backhand, backhanded. And because of the backhand, allowed Hayward an extra second to get the first base. Just beat that ball. That's one way to get an RBI. Gonna have another 2-2. This is gonna be the fourth consecutive 2-2 pitch from Danny Garcia. Here it is. Lined out into shallow left center. Coming in is Hayward. He dives and he makes the catch. Jacob Hayward with a web gem. Running in at full speed to his left. Diving all out and making the catch as he falls to his chest. Two away. And Harry, rightfully so, getting a standing ovation from the Hurricane Faithful. We've seen Jacob Hayward make web gems after web gems in his career at Miami. That was an incredible play. A long run, diving, coming in towards his left. I'm sure you'll see that tonight on SportsCenter Top 10. Fantastic play, saving a base hit. Great play from Hayward out in left field. Lily Abreu is on deck for the Canes if Johnny can't get the job done. One ball and two strikes. 43 strikeouts on the year for Scheller, and this pitch gets away! Coming in, the score is Batista! Miami has the lead! The pitch was low and inside, skipped away from the catcher, Hale, and the Hurricanes lead 3-2 to two in the eighth. How about that? Everyone was expecting Ruiz to get the big hit. It's a pass ball, maybe a wild pitch. We'll see how they score that. Nevertheless, Batista on his horse, gets home. Miami takes the lead. Still an opportunity to get more with Garcia warming up, ready to go for the ninth inning. You want to predict what's going to happen on this 2-2? Two -two? Strikeout, swinging. All right, two balls, two strikes, two outs. Fans on their feet. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss! Strike three! And the Miami Hurricanes have booked their ticket to the winner's bracket. They'll play tomorrow night. They knock off Stetson 4-2 at a raucous Mark Light Field. And here's the 2-0 offering. Line towards second, caught by Ruiz, throwing back to first. That's a double play. A very fortunate double play on a tailing liner. And for Long Beach State, Jackson was caught off of first. And just like that, the inning is over. With one away, potential tying run on second for Miami. Chester hits the 0-2 out into left. That will get down over the shortstop. Coming around third is Chris Barr. Here comes the throw to the plate. It's not in time. Miami ties the game 1-1 as Mark Lightfield is alive. That's exactly right. You can hear it. The Miami faithful happy that Miami is finally on the board. A big hit from Carl Chester just past the leaping Hampson at shortstop. Christopher Barr on his horse. Really, no throw from Ludquist. One and two, here's the pitch. Swing and a miss! Back-to-back -back strikeouts from Michael Mediavia, and the Canes are out of a massive jam with minimal damage done. We're through six at Mark Light Field, Long Beach State two, and Miami one. A ball and a strike on Johnny Ruiz. McCoggin out of the stretch, delivers. Ruiz swinging away, hits one high in the air, deep to right center field, long run, it's gonna get down in front of the warning track. Lopez around third, he's gonna hold up at third. That ball hung up in the air a long time out into deep right center and Lopez had to wait at first to take off. But Johnny Ruiz swinging away, plates a deep double to right center. There's runners on second and third with nobody out for Willie Abreu. One and two on Jacob Hayward. He struck out 
49 times this year. The one-two pitch hit in the air to pretty deep center. Sanchez, the center fielder, going back. He makes the catch, tagging up his Lopez. He'll score without a throw, and the game is tied. Jacob Hayward on a one-two pitch. Gets a hold of one to center. It's a sacrifice fly. Miami two, Long Beach State two. Out of the stretch, McCoggan fires the 1-0, and Michelangelo hits it on the ground toward third. Throw over to second, is wide, and shouting for the plate is Johnny Ruiz, and he scores to give Miami the lead. Dominguez's throw towards second went off the glove of Duran. Johnny Ruiz scampers home, and here in the seventh, Miami leads 3-2. Oh, and the Hurricanes catch a big break. It was a routine ground ball to third base, an easy throw to second, which would have got the dirt pags out of the inning. The second baseman, Duran, just drops the ball. It was a pretty good throw in the area. This is a defensive team that was 10th in college baseball in defensive fielding percentage with a crucial arrow there. Gives Miami the lead, and now the dirt pack's going to have to go to the pen. As Chester stands ready, McGeorge comes set. Out of the stretch, here's the one-two. Chester lines it out into left. That's going to get down. Miami will send Hayward. Here comes the throw to the plate. Hayward slides safe. Jacob Hayward slides in safely. Miami takes the lead 4-3 to three over Long Beach in the top of the 11. Harry Georgie, I don't know if you saw what I saw, but the umpire was pointing, pointing, pointing three straight times. Usually when that happens, the runner's called out. But Jacob Hayward in there safely. Carl Chester once again. A big RBI in his third hit of the game, second RBI. Miami takes the lead, but let's remember, not a walk-off to the de facto road team. Oh, boys, this is exciting. It's nerve-wracking. It's exciting. This is regional baseball in Coral Gables. you got to love it. Miami one strike away. Here comes the 2-2 pitch to Banuelos. Popped up high in the air to shallow left field. Coming in is Jacob Hayward. He makes the catch. The Miami Hurricanes storm the field. It took 11 innings, but Miami beats Long Beach State 4-3. And the Hurricanes are headed to tomorrow night 2-0 and one win away from the Super Regional. Wind continues to gust out to left center. Here's the 1-2 to Zach Collins. Hit in the air to left center. That's back to the wall. Stuffer at the track. That's way out of here. Harry Kroll. Zach Collins just hit that about 20 yards onto the track, onto the soccer field at Cobb Stadium. You were just talking about the win. And right before that pitch, I was going to talk about how Zach Collins could hit a fly ball and it could go anywhere out of this ballpark. Collins, a big hit, gets Miami on the board. That ball was absolutely hammered. They might have scored a goal in the opposite side of the field at Cobb Stadium. Here's the 1-0. Michelangelo hits this one out in the gap in right center field. This is going to get down and roll all the way to the warning track. Chris Barr is around third. He will score easily. Michelangelo holds at second with an RBI double. It's 2 to nothing Miami in the bottom of the second. Just like that, it's 6-1. to one. Here's a Abreu. As he hits a deep drive to right center. That is way back towards the Ponce Garage. And long gone. Really a Abreu tags one over the right center field fence. It's eight to one Hurricanes. Willie Abreu, like Collins back in the first, a long fly ball deep to right center field in the trees in the Ponce de Leon garage. Now Miami up eight one. Hurricanes looking to get Chris Barr in from third and head to the Super Regionals. No balls and a strike. Jacobson fires, lined into right center. It's sinking, it will get down! Chris Barr scores! A walk-off single for Randy Batista, and the Miami Hurricanes are going to the Super Regionals! Do you believe in Mark Light magic? Randy Batista, the hero tonight. It was Chester last night, Batista tonight. We'll see the Boston College Eagles here Friday night at the light for Super Regionals. What a weekend. What a three games played from the Miami Hurricanes. Blew a seven run lead, came back, went in the bottom of the ninth. Boy, oh boy, Harry, this was a lot of fun. One to nothing Eagles here in the bottom of the third. Collins struck out swinging his first time. Dunn 
We'll have to work to him out of the stretch for the first time today. Here's the pitch. Collins cracks one in the air, deep to right center field. There's no doubt about it. It's long gone. Zach Collins with a three-run bomb off the Ponce parking garage. And the Hurricanes lead 3-1. to one. Zach Collins wins the battle of first-rounders, takes the Justin Dunn fastball, and destroys it to right center field, the Ponce Leon garage. Zach Collins gets Miami on the board in a big way. Miami up 3-1. to one. How about that, Zach Collins? Boston College, you really need this one with your ace on the mound. Ruiz hits one in the air to pretty deep right field. This is high back to the wall. This ball is gone! Johnny Ruiz to deep right center field over the Ibex Tech sign. The second home run of the inning for the Hurricanes. It's four to one. One and two. Four is a very sneaky good base runner. This is a possible stolen base attempt. He's not going. Michelangelo hits it in the air to pretty deep right. That's carrying back toward the wall. It is off the wall. Abreu will walk home. Chris Barr around third. Here's the throw to the plate. Not nearly in time. It's cut off as Barr scores. A two-run double the other way for Michelangelo. A rocket to right center. And it's 6-3 to three, Miami. Righty righty between Barto and Shortino, the 1-1, one, one, hit in the air to right center, tailing, long run for Carl Chester, he lays out and makes the catch! Carl Chester with a sliding catch in right center field, that saves a run, and the Hurricanes lead is four as we go to the bottom of the eighth. What a grab, Lee. Harry, we were just talking about a few batters ago, the Miami defense, we saw Hayward in the first laying out, what a play from Carl Chester, the speedy center fielder, going to his left and going to the right center field towards the warning track. What a play from Carl Chester, saving a run. At the time, it felt really bad with Dunn on the mound, but in the end, it's not going to matter. As Ruiz cracks this one out to pretty deep right center, Casey going back, he's at the wall, it's gone! A grand slam for Johnny Ruiz, his second home run of the day! The Hurricanes lead 12 to three here in the eighth, and Mark Lightfield is rocking. Have a day, Johnny Ruiz. Had the solo home run back in the third. Now a grand slam here to the ninth, and this game is out of reach. The Hurricanes up 12 to three. Those bats have been there all day long. What a performance for the Miami Hurricanes. Garcia looking to get the win. Excuse me, get the save. And Miami looking to be one game away from returning to Omaha. Canes fans to their feet. One ball and two strikes on Casey with two outs. Garcia comes set. And here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Brian Garcia slams the door. And, and after a roller coaster of a ninth, the Miami Hurricanes hang on. They win 12 to 7. And UM is one win away from the College World Series. One and one, he stands there in that lefty's batter's box waiting for Stevens, who's working out of the stretch. A glance back to second, here's the one one. Line back into center field, that will get down. Damare will send Ruiz around third. There is no throw in from center field. Willie Abreu lines an RBI single to left center. And for the first time here in the Super Regional, the Canes are on the board first. Runners on second and third for Miami with one away. Michael Angeli at the plate for the Hurricanes with the top of the order on deck. Edgar has 33 RBIs this year, massive opportunity. And he hits one deep to left. This is back to the wall in left field and gone! Edgar Michael Angeli takes the first pitch he sees and drills it onto the running track at Cobb Stadium. A three-run homer for Edgar, and Miami leads four to nothing in the bottom of the second. No bat flip there from Edgar, Edgar Michael Angie, but a huge home run. He crushed that ball to left center field. First pitch swinging, saw the Stevens fastball, and absolutely destroyed that ball. A huge home run there from the Hurricanes nine hitter, Edgar Michael Angeli, his fourth of the season. And the Hurricanes up four to nothing here in the second. Three balls and two strikes with the bases full. Adams delivers. 
Michelangelo hits one in the air, the pretty deep left center. That's back to the wall. Gone! Edgar Michelangelo has done it again. A grand slam off the scoreboard. Miami's lead is nine to three as the Canes are staring over to Omaha now, Lee. We wanted the bat flip. We got the bat flip. Edgar Michelangelo lives for these moments. He lives for the drama. His second home run of the ball game. This one a grand slam. The fans are going nuts. The Hurricanes are going nuts. Edgar Michelangelo is going nuts. And here comes the fight potentially. And there is a, a ruckus over by the Hurricane dugout. A lot of shoving and yelling going on. Benches clear for both teams. I'll tell you this, Harry. If I hit a grand slam home run in a do-or-die game with Omaha on the line, I would do a bat flip. I would point at it. This is college baseball. You're supposed to have fun. Bases loaded for BC with two outs in the top of the eighth. Brian Garcia trying to get the Canes to the last inning. Out of the stretch, Garcia looks in. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss by Palamaki. The Hurricanes are three outs from Omaha. Donovan Casey, the sophomore, doesn't want to go home quite yet. Battling the lawnmower, Brian Garcia, looking to get the final strike, the final out to advance Miami to Omaha. We'll do it again. Here comes that two strike clap. The Hurricanes, one strike away from the promised land. Garcia looks in. Here's the 3 2 pitch. Hit in the air to left center. Hayward running over to his right. Jacob Hayward makes the catch. Head west, young men, the Miami Hurricanes are going to the College World Series. Omaha, somewhere in middle America, and there's a hurricane coming to town. The Miami Hurricanes are back to the College World Series, back to back years. Hayward getting the grab in left field. Garcia closes the deal. Oh boy, oh boy. The Hurricanes booking their ticket to Omaha.